Musketeers. So today our dog bonus exercise is working only the front legs. We're gonna work them in reverse as well as forward. So I'm going to use the biggest peanut that I have. That's what these are called. I actually got this off Amazon from a company called Can Do. Uh, if you don't have a peanut, which most people don't, you can also use an exercise ball if you've already got one in your house for your own workouts and your exercise. This is actually my, this is actually my desk chair. I don't own a desk chair. I use an exercise ball to sit on when I'm typing at the computer and have for years. So if you don't already own an exercise ball, they're like dirt cheap and can be found anywhere and can be used for a whole limitless number of exercises. So highly recommend investing in one of those, both for canine exercises as well as human exercises. So, um, like I said, if you don't have a peanut, most people don't, don't feel bad, go grab your exercise ball, same, same principle. So I'm gonna kind of brace this against my knees. The one pro over using a peanut over an exercise ball is because it's oblong, it kind of only rolls one direction versus a peanut, no, versus an exercise ball, I would kind of, you can't even tell. I'm gonna give you the booty shot. Uh, I would kind of straddle it a little bit more because a peanut can move in all different kinds of directions. And if your dog doesn't have great balance, they can overextend or slip off. So I would straddle that and help that roll forward and back just in one direction, just to keep your dog safer. Or you could use a cheat and put two kitchen chairs so that you've got, again, a chute to help, help that exercise prop move only in one direction. Hawk! So I've got a handful of treats, obviously. Here, you can't go on there, I put that there. Good, so I've got this brace so it doesn't move. Step up. He has not, yes, he has not practiced step up as frequently as his sister. So I just used those cookies like a little dog magnet to get him up there. And then I used my marker word, just the word yes, to mark the behavior I wanted, which was front feet on the prop. Now, as he's standing there and I'm feeding, I'm gonna straighten my legs and move so that, see how it rolls? and he has to walk in reverse to keep his feet on top of, did we drop one? The peanut. Now, sometimes when dogs are just learning, they'll actually off, flop down and find it. Use your nose, find it. Put their elbows on there. We actually want front feet, not elbows, on the prop so that they're actually getting more shoulder and more full leg movement as opposed to when they're putting their weight on their, their elbows. It limits, it, wait, wait, I'm not ready. Limits their mobility. So I've got this jammed up here. Step up. Yes. And then while he's standing and I'm feeding, I'm just going to slowly let this move. Now with his weight on there, he's actually pushing that and can you see how his feet have to back pedal to stay on there? Now, I touched my knees back down again because he adjusted his weight and it was going backwards towards him and I didn't want him to lose control over it. So I just used my fingers of my left hand to kind of roll this forward to keep him going. Now, I can also push it very gently yeah, see how he wants to put those elbows down? So I'm gonna feed a little bit higher to keep that head and chest up. Gently push, yes. And now he's moving his feet forward as it rolls towards him. Yes. So he's able to focus just on those front legs and isolate that step movement. Now. If you've got a bigger dog, off, find it. Uh, Mastiff, Great Dane, things like that. Maybe you've had 
some shoulder. It's actually a lower impact exercise when you do it up on the peanut or the exercise ball because when they go from all four to hind legs, most of their weight is in their rears. So they're able to work on just the movement without them being a heavily weight bearing exercise. So that is your dog bonus exercise for today. Have a great day.